<laughs> Chapter 5. Reproduction. Peter Zuka was provided a comfortable seat and a warm brew of some sort. She was clearly the center of great attention by the local Dutvatanians. She held up the brew. It looked like milk. It was just that a pure white liquid that was warm to the touch. And before she could try it, she saw her bunny held up by the nape of its neck in front of her face. What in the bloody hell is this thing? Cyrus asked. That is my bunny! Don't hurt it! Cyrus rolled her eyes and threw it back into the Pirazuka Zerzek and closed the gate. Cyrus sat down next to Pirazuka on the metal floor. Let me get this straight. You saw an Edmiron reproduce? She asked. Well, I saw a Spriggan crawl out of Aaliyah's mouth, and then it flew around cutting the throats of every human in her vicinity. She was about to get hanged, Pirazuka explained. Cyrus chuckled. <laughs> that is quite funny. It takes more than that to kill a Thillian. <laughs> but a Spriggan, that is the mobile egg of a Thillian, starting off as a single cell with a tail, then sprouting a mouth to eat organic material, <laughs> then swallowing the molecules in and DNA combining it with its own genes to sift out what is not needed. To think that a Thalion, an Edmiron, has been brewing this egg inside her belly without any external influence is quite peculiar. Cyrus pondered. Pirazuka tried to understand whatever she was mumbling while sipping the brew. Oh yes, that is my milk, by the way. My bosom was feeling kind of supple in the dark loneliness of space. Pirazuka stopped drinking. But to not insult Cyrus with this gift, she just swallowed. Say Cyrus continued, I met a silly man once. Say Cyrus rose up and walked towards Pirazuka's Zerzik. Does this Dutvutanian septoblade have a mind on its own? Say Cyrus asked Pirazuka. She put the cup of milk away. Pretty much. I attached a small Dutvutanian relicate to that side of my Zerzik and it grew into this wing. Say Cyrus looked at it. Very interesting. And India, the Admiron gave you it. Yeah, yeah. Pirazuka responded. She looked to the left and saw an angry-looking floating orb with a green visor. Oh, hello, Crusoe. I did not know that you would come here. The green head sneered at Cyrus. I am a Turgkin with a mission from God, you stupid Thelian. All right, do as you please, Cyrus said with an alarmed look at Crusoe. The Turgkin loomed close to Pirizuka's face. You smell like Nordic filth, Crusoe said. Pirizuka sniffed. What? Cruseo whipped out a long sword and snapped it towards her neck. Every Dutvutanian at the port did not flinch a single muscle. They just watched. I can sense something wrong with this whole spectacle, Cruseo growled. Then another green turkin flew towards them. Man, settle your inhors! Cruseo looked at the interrupter. Taron, were you not going to tend to say Cyrus's ship? Yes, but you can't be flinging swords at the poor Thillian. She has a lot on her plate, Taran said with fidgeting hands. Cyrus intervened. Cruceo, Taran, you do not have to worry about Pirizuka. I have called a superior who will deal with this. Cruceo collapsed his sword. Very well, but I will keep my eyes on you, Cruceo said while drifting off. Taran put his weird floating hands on Pirizuka's shoulder. Do not be afraid of Dutvutanians. A lot of them are spirits who come from Earth. I, however, am a jolly warrior. Unlike my Nordic friend, who perished in a stressful battle. I just wanted to get that last sip of wine before my ship sank into the ocean, Taryn said while laughing. <sighs> that is enough, a familiar voice said. Pirizuka stiffened up and saw Lupra, her mother. She must have noticed Pirizuka's Zerzek traveling from Earth to Dutvutan. I've been worried sick about you, and here you are talking to Dutvutanians. How did you even end up here? Lupra said while leading Pirizuka to her Zerzek by the wrist. What is this long black wing? Lupra pointed at the septoblade. Pirizuka was too overwhelmed. She just collapsed down and screamed everything that brought her to this point. Lupra stood there in silence. She stared down at the Dutvutanians who gathered around. They then scattered. Cyrus came running and wanted to greet Lupra. Lupra punched Cyrus straight in the face and held her up by the shirt. Lupra is a tall Thelian, and Cyrus was hanging there. You cretin! What have you done to Pirizuka Zerzek? Lupra shouted into her face. That septo blade is not mine! Cyrus shouted in fear. From the right came Crucio, sword drawn and started swinging at Lupra. 
She swung Cyrus like a wet noodle down on Cruceo's head, nailing the Turg's kin into the metal floor. Lupra yelled with a booming voice, Which one of you Dutanians brought my sweet child to this blasted planet? <laughs>